Good morning, literally. I have never, I don't think I've ever done a live um, at 1.31 in the morning, but I was actually um, just cleaning up, doing some things, getting ready. And the Lord impressed on me. He said, Deanna, tell my people what time it is. And this is a dust said the Lord, praise God, hallelujah. So go ahead, please ta tag, share. This is what the Lord said. The Lord said, this is an hour of testing. And I want to read something to you. This is Psalm 119, 71, King James Version. Always get the King James Version, praise God. It says, it is good for me that I've been afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. Now, this was David talking. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. Let me, let me tell you something. In this season, you see, we're in the book of Daniel in this time, in these last days, where the enemy thinks to wear out the saints. You got to understand what's going on. So I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to hit it fast and I got to go, but I'm going to tell you something. In this season, you can't give up. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. In this season, let me tell you something. And I was telling somebody this today. I've always been this way my whole life. Don't ask me why. I don't even understand it, but it got to be God. I'm at my best when everything is pressing on me from the east, the south, the north, and the west. That's because I'm depending on God. God, I don't understand what's going on, but I know you got me. You don't hear what I'm saying. This is where God is going to decide if he can trust you. Trust you to go to that next level. Come on, somebody. It's not just about gifts and talents, and I know people think it is. But it's about character, integrity. Can you handle the blessing? Can you handle the stress? Can you handle the warfare? Can you handle the anointing? Can you handle fake friends? Can you handle them snakes? Oh, I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. Every level, there's a different devil. Every blessing, there's a testing. Or y'all saying, and if you've been following me, you know recently I got blessed. But can I tell y'all something? Because y'all know I'm gonna keep it transparent. Oh, they pressing east, west, north, south. The other day I was like, oh, oh, you mad? Oh, you mad, Satan? So now you're trying to press. But let me tell you something. In the pressing, you're not supposed to be stressing. In the pressing is when you fight for your blessing. Because guess what? I'm gonna be honest with you. This little stuff that people, you know, they go crazy over. You, you give them a little something and they just don't even know how to act. God want to give us more. Oh, I'm about to go. I'm about to go. Hallelujah. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah to his name. Let me tell you what I really desire. I don't care about having cars, money, like that. Not like that. I, I want to survive. Now, hallelujah. I care about the anointing. I want to be so anointed that when I touch you, oh, forget about just when I touch you, when I speak, you feel the presence of God. Deanna, no, hallelujah. I want that stuff, that real Holy Ghost power, that supernatural power, the power that to speak in people's life, the power to break yokes, the power. I ain't after that stuff day after. So they ain't going to get the same test I get, hallelujah. So I'm telling you right now, be strong in this hour because I can feel it in the spirit. I ain't the only one. See, the real ones are going through. The fake ones, they just breeze and by. And you want to know why? Because they're in it for the wrong reasons. Don't I like y'all don't know. This is a lucrative business. Preaching is a lucrative business. And, and guess what? What they do is they go study people like me. I'll be surprised how many people study my videos. I think that's why God made me pull back. I'm not kidding because they don't understand. You're sitting up there playing. The apostolic anointing is so heavy that if you are not ordained to sustain it, you're going to break. I'm just being real. Hallelujah. Because the level of anointing is the level of warfare. And can I tell you something? I go through it. I ain't really fussing about it. Come on, somebody. I ain't really complaining. But I go through. I be like, God, <laughs> what's going on here? And yet he stills there because this is when you got to go to your face. That's why David said, it is good that I've been afflicted because they push David closer to God. Come on, somebody. And David had to encourage himself because when you are in the pressing and you're pressing for your blessing, you got to understand the enemy is trying to take you out. It is when you're going through, I need y'all to listen to me very carefully. It is when you're going through that it's very important that you hang on. It is very important that you really do because he's a sucker. You listen to what I'm saying. The enemy likes to attack you more so when you're weak. So now you got to be strong. And that's why some of you say, oh, my God, it feels like I'm going under. Because in your weakness, you have to depend on the strength of God. You can't do this by yourself. You're not made that way. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah to his name. Y'all know I don't get on here at 135 in the morning. 
I'm going through. But yet, I feel strong. I know it sounds crazy. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And I could feel the anointing getting heavy on my life. And I'm talking about heavy, 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 heavy. Hallelujah. Y'all notice I don't get on here like I used to. And it's not that I don't want to. I'm being obedient in this hour like never before. Like I, I really wasn't going to get on here. I was going to go take me a shower. Okay, God, I've been finished cleaning up, doing what I got to do, prepare for tomorrow. I got to go. God said, no, no, no. I need you to get up on there and tell them what thus said the Lord to be strong in this hour. Stay in your word. The enemy is tainting a lot of people in this hour. The enemy is winning in this hour. I'm sorry to say it like that, but only for a season, honey, because let me tell you something. The God we serve is not going to let it go down like that because God already know all about us. He know all about what you're going to do, what you're not going to do. This is the season where he wants you to know who you are, how much can you stand? How much can you really, really, because a lot of people ask for it, but then you can't stand through it because it is your character. That's why you can't get nobody without a, without a decent character, a real position, because they're going to break. They're going to start doing all kinds of stuff. Y'all see it all the time, right? Why y'all think pastors do what they do? Why y'all think people have been exposed? Because they've been gifted, been put in a position that God really never called them. And when you are not called, you cannot stand because come on somebody, because in that standing, God is going to require you. I need you to get in your word. I need you to fast. I need you to pray. I need you to, to step out from among them. What is among them? I can't hang with everybody. I can't roll with everybody. I don't think I'm all that, but guess what? I'm going to protect what's mine. And that's the anointing of God. This is a privilege and an honor. Come on, somebody, you got to protect what God is giving you and people are not protecting it. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's high time. They sending snakes. They sending people. Y'all think it's a game? And you have to ask for confirmation. And to be honest with you, sometimes you're going to miss it. Oh, I just said something. But that's all right because Romans 8, 28 say, the good and the bad work together for those that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. So that's why I don't even trip. Because guess what? All the good, yes, but we have to accept the bad. Come on, somebody, let me tell you something. Let me preach to you for one minute. As much as you praise God in the bad, I mean the good, you got to praise him in the bad. And I had to learn that even recently. Because this last test, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I'm going to tell you right now. And I didn't see it coming. And I'm a whole prophet. I said, okay, God, what was what? But he wanted to see how I was going to react. And I'll be honest with you. At first, I was like, hold on now. And God said, I'm watching you. And that's when I turned that thing all the way around. I said, okay, you want me to praise you even when I get hit. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. So even when you going through, Lord, I bless you. Though you slay me, yet I will trust in you because he needs to know your character. Come on, somebody. And honestly, he's really preparing. I said, I put that video up yesterday. He's preparing you to go places that you thought you'd never go. Come on, somebody. That they said that you'll never go. That you, they said that you'll never do. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because I'm going to be honest with you, we got a lot of people perpetrating. We got a lot of people just on here, they perpetrating, y'all. You know y'all don't feel all anointing. They, they look good. And let me tell you something. It's good to look good when you ain't going through. Oh, don't play with me. Hallelujah. But when you're going through, you ain't worried about looking good. I'm not saying you don't want to look decent, but you on your face. You praying. You under, you like, God, 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 I need you. Praise God. Hallelujah. So I just want to encourage you. I just want to encourage you. I know the real ones are going through. I can feel it in my spirit, but I heard God say, hold on and be strong. How strong? Too strong. You got to hold on and know that God is with you and God has not forgotten about you. And I don't care what it look like, but you got to watch everybody in this hour. Don't believe nothing. Nobody say I'm saying to you, go to God, say, God, they telling the truth. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying and wait for that confirmation. I don't care who they are. Hallelujah. This stuff real. The devil is after us. Y'all don't see how evil is rising? So now he's preparing his army. The devil is preparing his army, right? But God is preparing his to come on somebody. And I'm going to tell you what God said. God said the church came in power and we're going out in power. Hallelujah. Nobody playing. The only reason revival haven't taken place is because the church has to repent. Because God ain't finished exposing. Mm, I just say something. God ain't finished cleaning it out. Y'all going to see a whole lot coming this year. Because guess what? God won't let them explode themselves. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying? Ain't nobody got to hook, hook and crook and, and try to sneak and catch you. You're going to expose yourself if you're doing wrong. And that's me, anybody. Hallelujah. God ain't playing. He said, I'm coming back for a spotless church, a holy church, my church. That's another thing, too. That ain't your people. That ain't your church. Quit tripping. That's God's. Hallelujah. 
So God bless you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you through Christ. I want you to be strong. I, oh, I, I'm at my best. They, they, they don't know, huh? Hello. So God bless you. God keep you. Um, study. Get in your Bible. Keep fasting. Um, the fast is going on to the 20th. I'm sorry I haven't been up on here, but I, I've been fighting. I've been fighting because I refuse to lose. Put that in the comments. I refuse to lose. Let me tell you something. We are in a battle and it's for our life. And believe it or not, that's why some people are getting cut off. You have, oh, thank you, Lord. I hear you. You have to be very obedient in this hour. I'm not kidding. You got it. If God said go left, you better go left. If God said go right, go right. Do not second guess God in this hour. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. We're all out soldiers for that is who we are. Nobody playing. God bless. Have a blessed morning, you guys. All right.